the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I'm in Athens, Greece, and I'm standing on Mars Hill. This is one of the most powerful views I've ever seen in my life. One of my bucket list places to preach is Mars Hill. So the Bible says, delight yourself in the Lord and He shall you give you the desires of your heart. So I've been delighting myself in God and God has uh, given me the and allowed me to come over here. I am going to Rome, Italy next week to preach the gospel. And as I was looking on the map, what is close to Rome, Italy, I saw Athens, Greece, and immediately my heart burst with joy and I said, God, can I please go to Mars Hill and preach from Acts 17? And God said, thumbs up. Uh, Tommy Tenney said at the Brownsville Revival, all you need is a nod from God. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be here. Praise God. Now, I can't speak any Greek at all. So when I get to these hard Greek words, um, I'm just going to say a uh, Greek name, okay? You know, you don't have to be super smart to be a street preacher. You just have to be available and then uh, open your mouth and let God fill your mouth. Apostle Paul said he was a fool for Christ. But yet, then he says, I'm the chief of sinners. And then he says, but follow me as I follow Christ. So he's admitting he's a leader, but yet people called him a godly pest. They called him a pestilent fellow. So uh, nothing wrong with being a godly pest for Jesus. Praise the Lord. It's good to be here. Now, in the times of this ignorance, God winked at, but now commands all men everywhere to repent. So I'm going to speak to Athens real quick, and I'll be right back. Athens, Greece, it's time to repent of your sin. Made up temples in silver and gold. 
uh, some mocked, and others said, we will hear of this matter again. So Paul departed, and then it talks about a lady named Damaris that got born again right here on Mars Hill. So when you preach the gospel, same thing happened in Pentecost. That happened on Mars Hill. They were both in public meetings. They were both confrontational meetings. And people mocked when they open air preached. People said, hey, I'll talk to you about it later. I'm kind of interested, but I don't want to get saved right now. And then there were the others that did turn from their sins and became converted. They came born again. So we need to go back to the way it was in the Bible. People out getting upset about the sins in the world 